So today's product review is going to be on Sake Holsters, S-A-E-K, um, a uh, manufacturer who offers Kydex uh, magazine carriers and holsters alike, along with other accessories, uh, located in central Washington. And uh, so today I'm going to be reviewing some of the products that I've bought from him because I, re I can recommend his products wholeheartedly. So starting with holsters, you get anything from outside the waistband paddle holsters to outside the waist pancake holsters and inside the waist belt clip holsters, which I don't have a sample here actually right now. Um, but Sake Holsters offers a wide variety of options, starting at a very low price of $45, moving up from there as the accessories come in. So, starting here, makes a light bearing holster. This one in particular is for my Glock 41. If you go to his website, he has a whole list of selectable firearms that you can choose from. Um, so, uh, we'll first go over the, the three basic parameters a holster has to meet. I do subscribe kind of to the John Korea method of testing holsters, so... For me, it either has to be make and model specific or hold the firearm securely. Um, it actually meets both of those parameters. So um, first test is pass. Secondly, it has to cover the trigger guard regardless of any accessories in a tamper-proof fashion. Um, I cannot get any of my appendages in there to pull the trigger, so that is a pass. Thirdly, it has to provide for safe and reliable access to the firearm. This is an outside the waist holster that actually balances quite well on the belt clips. Um, so it does point straight down to the ground. It doesn't tilt and point at your kneecap, nor does it um, sag your belt and, and dig into you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Um, aspects of an excellent holster would include things like the comfort of all day wearing. Um, I wear this at 3.30 to 4 o'clock, depending on the type of pants that I wear. Um, in all day comfort, I'm very satisfied with it. A couple other examples. This one's a light bearing holster for my Beretta. Um, as you can see, fits without the light too in this particular case. Um, holds firearm securely. Provides um, coverage of the trigger guard in tamper-proof fashion and provides safe and reliable access with all-day comfort. Same thing for my Colt Commander. Excellent products. Okay, so moving on to the magazine carriers. He has a couple of different options. I choose the outside the waist double magazine carrier. Um, this one's for the 1911. It holds the magazines in a secure fashion while fully loaded. Um, however, provides... Um, for a full grip on the magazine in order to retrieve them with the finger at the top of the first round in the magazine. Same thing goes for the Glock magazine. Glock magazines actually tend to click in, which is nice. He also makes a reversible magazine carrier that operates off of friction and is inside the waistband. Um, this one is for my, uh, my Smith M&P. Okay, so... Excellent products as far as I'm concerned. I am an exclusive Sake Holster customer. I use only his products for my auto-loading handguns. I use a different company when I go for leather holsters, but he makes excellent Kydex holsters. He uses a um, uh, temperature and hydraulic press type system to mold around the gun, um, leaving it detailed, but not so firmly detailed as to cause unnecessary friction to the gun. So you notice with this gun, as soon as the retention pops right there, it is now free holster comes right off. So, no unnecessary friction. However, it holds the firearm securely. You notice right there at the end, gun pops right in. When it pops out, it falls right out. Same thing goes for the, um, the low rider drop leg type holsters. Those are also available typically in open top fashion. So, Glock 41. Okay. Without the retention strap, which is a specialty order on my behalf, don't go expecting him to make one of those for you. Holds the firearm securely, covers the trigger to where I can't mess with it, and provides safe and reliable access. Okay. Another magazine carrier for a Breda. This one in particular has the extended belt, belt loops to match a um, steeper curvature. I wear this one at 9 o'clock as opposed to um, 8 or 8.30 like I do the ones with the standard uh, belt loops. Um, so different options for belt clips as well. You see a couple of different examples. Um, here's actually two that are essentially the same magazine carrier, just for different brands of magazines, um, and that's the difference you can see. Um, he'll match the curvature of your body upon request, more or less. Um, and if you have any issues with anything, he provides. Uh, Ryan does an excellent job at um, at uh, warranty work or any adjustments. I've many of occasions asked for um, the curvature of the holster to be slightly um, 
open or maybe a little bit tighter uh, one way or the other, and he'll right then and there fix it, which is great. He um, has a website, sakeholsters.com. I wholeheartedly recommend his products. I will leave a link in the description for you guys. Again, prices start at, I think, around 45 or 50 bucks. He's got all kinds of wide variety of um, Kydex patterns and types, um, holster patterns and types, inside the waist, outside the waist, magazine carriers, and the list goes on. So, sake holsters, everybody. Give them your next holster purchase, please.